Hello friends, it's currently high tide but join us today as we go find some World War II knickknacks, one and a half rings and one cool little find that absolutely free us. But uh, Equinox 15 inch coil on the slope. See you down there. This is what we're hearing. So we really have got to slow the swing speed of the coil down. I have bumped up the uh, recovery speed a little bit with it being this big coil, but uh, yeah, it's all fun and games. Really should have had the little coil on, but uh, testing my actions with the big coil. Got to be worth an investigation, right? I think it'll be much. Probably a bit of copper nail or. No, oh, that's a wormhole. Two two casing. Fourteen fifteen. Oh dear. Scratching it. Scratching about for rubbish yeah Dinky. <laughs> twenty one, twenty two. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we got it. It's a nugget. Not what we're looking for, but we'll take it. A summertime loss. We got a coin. There's a modern 2P. Is it? Oh, it's Georgia Six. Half penny. Can you ship half penny? Yay. There's an eight down there. Might be a uh, that's a two two cartridge look casing. Hmm dear. Right so look. Two two casing. Oh, 
21, 22. Get down to a three. Right. Back up to twenty two, twenty three. So, what is it? Oh dear. It's a pretty decimal it's a pretty decimal penny in some short sort of form shape description. I'll give that a bash when we get back. The 14. The 10 pence piece. I think it's a 10 pence piece, on 10 pence. But a little bit big this coil for just here, I'll let you have a listen in a minute. It's ring shaped. Coming five and six, I think. It's only shallow. Not one, two. I don't know what it's made of. It's a keeper. Nineteen twenty twenty one. Is that it? Heavens above. Probably a sixpence or a thousand, I can't see. Dear God, Bennett. That's the only thing with them up here, they're absolutely tat. It's either a sixpence or a thousand. Could be sixpence. I'll clean it up. Oh, I can just see G the I think it's a sixpence. I just see some marks on it that look like the back. I think it's a pendant, a bit of a pendant, coming 1920, so might be an half decent one. Might be. Try and see what's on it. Oh. Might be a good one, we'll clean it up. 17! It's a badge, it's a badge. Home guard! Oh wow! Let's go rinse that one off. It's Dad's army!
It's a dead army badge. Is it a cat badge or is it? Lapel badge. Cool. Welcome back, friends. I don't know if I'm going to get the coins cleaned in time, but uh, they're cleaning in the background. Well, if we don't get them cleaned, I'll put all the pictures of the coins. I think there was a farthing, three sixpences, a uh, couple of half pennies, and a penny, but they're all cleaning away. Nicely, but the finds of the day. Ooh. One, one ring. I tried to straighten, but uh, clumsy fingers here's a bust it. Another one. That one you saw. The kid, I'm sure it come in five or six, but then when it was on the sand, I think it was that much iron. Couldn't, you couldn't hear and see what it was coming out of. I'm sure it come in number five or six. Um, the little pendant thing. That is dinky. I'll put a close up picture up. The little pendant thing. Um, yeah, that pulled us. I thought it was a little St. Christopher or something, but it's not. And the find of the day. Had to go with the home guard. Dad's army. Nice little, I presume it's a lapel badge. I know somebody that will like that because they do World War II reenactments. So uh, they can clean that up and wear that with pride. It's not always about gold and money, it's about cool artifacts. That's what I like, Winter. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. More beach action up there something else down there, I'll put a bit more beach action down there so you can hover about and watch some more, subscribe up there, until next time, thanks for watching, take care, we'll see you soon.